Go ahead and raise hands for Jaden. Hey, Jaden. What's up? Well, Rob Lewis and Mike Wilson. Jaden, you had six assists today. You, you guys had 23 assists total on 27 made baskets. Just, you know, how, how much fun is it when you're playing that way, sharing the ball and everybody's getting involved? Uh, that's the way every team should play because when everybody eating the ball, moving the game is so much easier and it's so much fun, especially when you score and you can see a teammate score, everybody's just having a good time out there. Jaden, what did you feel like maybe went the best for you today? Um, overall, Rick said it was probably the best that you played. And, and then did you have a favorite pass that you made today? Um, no, not really. I mean, you know, if I could pick one, I'd probably say when I, I drove baseline one time and I think Folky ended up wide open under the basket and I hit him for a little easy dump off right there. Yeah, then, then what overall just did you feel like went, went so well for you today? Um, everything as a team, we was hitting shots, we was getting stops on defense. I just feel like um, as a team, everything just felt like we was going, we was on a roll today, especially the second half. Troy, then Gustavo. Jaden, y'all entered today top 10 in the country in terms of not turning the ball over. What is it about this backcourt that makes y'all so good at taking care of the basketball? Um, it really starts with the coaches. That's something that they uh, really make sure we take care of is limiting the turnovers and stuff like that. I feel like today, um, I probably had way too many turnovers for the, uh, today's game. But as a whole, we did our thing. We uh, kept it down. And turnovers, if we limit that, we limit easy transition points for the other team. Jaden, how do you see your performance offensively? You had 83% on the field goal. You know, a lot of times you drove successfully to the basket. How do you saw your performance offensively? I feel like I did okay. Could have done a lot better. Um, taking care of the ball, that's the main thing. But um, other than that, I did all right. Nicholas Hill and Wes Rucker. Uh, Jane, just talk about uh, you know, going up against a Texas A&M defense because you know, there's a lot of times where they're kind of blending a man-to-man -man defense in a two-free zone. And, you know, just talk about, you know, when you're going up against them, you're trying to figure out what exactly they're doing, just, you know, how big you know, was the preparation for this game in terms of having your offensive success today? Oh, uh, yeah, I feel like we treated it just like any other game. Um, we made sure we seen what they how they play defense. We went over the reads and stuff like that. So when we came out, I think we were pretty prepared for what they're doing. They like to help a lot. So we just had to keep moving the ball, find our other teammates. And that's really what we stuck to our, uh, stuck to today. And it worked out. Jane, I know there were there were some big plays today, but that that layup that, that Keon made in the first half, that kind of uh, Dr. J looking move where he kind of went on, under the bucket there. Uh, do Does anything he really does out there surprise you with, with the athleticism he has? And, and what's the craziest thing you've seen him do? I mean, uh, we see him do a lot of stuff, especially in practice, stuff like that. Uh, today, I feel like today was crazy. I, at first, I thought he was going to go up and dunk it, and he reversed it. Like, I think he grazed his head on the back door or something like that. Every time he do something like that, he's a crazy athlete, so get everybody going. Do you think that's a play you could make going? I know, I know you can get up a little bit, too. Have you ever had one of those uh, kind of up and unders like that? Yeah, a little bit. Mm -hmm. All right. Thank you, Jaden. Appreciate everybody.